right, trying this again. I'm waiting for Upsheet Glitz and Glam to join me. We're gonna be painting live here on Instagram. She might be having trouble joining. Hi, everyone. Hey, Karen. So I'm waiting for Denise to join me. Uh, we're gonna be painting canvas tonight. So I have, um, we're gonna be painting uh, for a, a, the benefit of Flamingos for Amber. Uh, Denise knows a little bit of, more about the organization and what we're going to do is we're going to be paint doing a painting and we're going to be donating it to them and I think I believe they're going to be auctioning it off um two Karens <laughs> she should be joining us in a second the video is plaid okay yeah, I'm on now. One of the girls was saying that the video was plaid. Oh, it was paw, she means. Oh, sorry. It paused for a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I thought I a big plaid came up on the screen. Like, you ever see space balls when they're going too fast and it goes to plaid? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think it was when I was joining that it was, that it paused. So, sorry, I might have caused that. Okay, so... Now, oh, uh, hi, Sunflower Hill Market. She's on your uh, Instagram. Uh, Instagram is one of the life's mysteries. To, yeah, it is to me too, apparently, because we, we just finally figured it out, though, a little bit. So it'll get easier so. as, as we go on. Now, will, my, will people on my page see it too? I mean, I don't know how this works. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I okay. think so, because you're on here with me. So it, okay. should, it should notify people that you're live. Okay. I don't know if anybody Figure else on here has ever gone live on Instagram with uh, a dual live with somebody. Um, okay. I'm looking at some of the comments. There's some girls in here watching us. Karen's here. Okay, cool. I see a five. few of them. Sunflower uh, Hill Market. And I'm on here. <laughs> and you're on here. Okay. Denise, do you want to tell them a little bit about what we're going to do? I kind of went on live earlier. Nobody, I don't think anybody was there. And... I was kind of saying what we were doing, but maybe you have a little bit more information. Okay. Um, well, we're going to paint some um, canvases this evening, and we're going to donate them to a nonprofit called Flamingos for Amber. Amber was a girl. They live in Kentucky, Owensboro, Kentucky, and she had a rare disease at the age of 10, and she lived to be 24. That's as old as she got. And the disease took her. And her parents started a nonprofit, Flamingos for Amber, because Amber loves flamingos. And recently, I was reading on Facebook on the family's information and stuff. Amber had a brother named, I think, Josh. And Josh recently died last year. And so they're also going to start including him in some fundraising efforts. What I understand the family does, her mom and dad, through this foundation, they are going to have um, a auction sometime in May. They're going to determine the date, and they're going to auction things off. And okay. they, what they do with the proceeds is they help other families that are in the same situations that they went through children in the hospital, sometimes parents don't have money for a hotel room, you know, if they're out of town. And they were helping little boy Aiden and an older gentleman. So they, they're always in hospitals and helping people in need. And they just are doing this through the love of the Amber and the remembrance of her. So Very cool. that's, that's what we're doing. We're going to try to paint some flamingos and we're going to donate our canvases. And I love, 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 love your background already. She's way oh, thank paint. you very much. Beautiful. I've, I've never painted a flamingo before. I'm going to try. I think I'm you can do, do it, it intuitively. <laughs> I think you can do it. Um, I have to start my background all, so if my back's to you, we'll still try to keep our conversations going from time to time. I have to do a mm -hmm. shout-out. I don't know if my little grandson is watching yet, but he's supposed to tune in. He's four and a half, and his name is Leo, and he has a little stuffed animal named Marshmallow that I gave him that he just loves, and he Aww. loves my, my, my dog. His name Mia, but he, he has a little dog named Jagger, so I said I would say hi to all of them. So hopefully they'll watch or they'll watch the replay, and so hi. Leo, 
I'm Glam Onini here for him. Hi, so. Leo. <laughs> I'm saying hi to Leo, too. Good. Oh, he's a sweetheart. <laughs> okay. So we're going to let this party get started. And right. um, leave some comments. Talk amongst yourselves. Ask us questions. Um, if anybody yeah. wants... If anybody else out there wants to do some um, canvases for Flamingos for Amber, then let us know. We can either paint with you or you could do them yourselves and we'll, we'll get you all that information. Mm hmm. Sounds good. Oh, and tell us where you're from because maybe some of these people don't know where we're from. Oh, um, um, yeah. Alisa. Um, I'm from New Jersey. I live in northern New Jersey, uh, in northern Passaic County, uh, close to uh, New York State. Um, about in relation to New York City, about about uh, about an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, work work in Hackensack, which is only like fifteen minutes, and I'm down there every day, which is in Bergen County, New Jersey. Okay. And uh, so that's where we are in relation to New York City. Everybody knows New York City, so I usually that's what I. Uh, Karen's from Port St. Lucie. Where are you from, son? Oh, Port St. Lucie. I want to. I want to get to Florida so bad. Can try oh, to you don't have any idea, man. I really want to get to oh. to Florida. <laughs> I know. Right now, I am in a little town called Beaver Falls, home of Joe, Joe Namath. I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and um, that's where my Leo is. And um, so, right now, I'm just in the like 40, 35 to forty minutes north of Pittsburgh. I'm a little bit south of Erie, Pennsylvania. So you're on the, the east side. I'm on the west side of my state. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Yeah, you're all the way on the other side. We were just yes. in, um, my son is in the marching band, and they were in, we were in Allentown for a competition. Okay. So that's not too far. It was about an hour or so. Yes. From us. It's pretty quiet over there. I don't know. It's probably even more quiet by you, right? Um, yeah, there's not much to do in my town here. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not much to do by me either. You gotta have to. You kind of have to travel. There's not hardly even any. There's a few restaurants. There's not. Any, there's not much around here. We got Shoprite, and that's about it. They did put a TJ Maxx in a couple years ago, but that is about it. There's a little town like 10 minutes from me called New Brighton, and they're getting an RV, so we're excited about that. Yeah. Beaver Falls has a has a uh, McDonald's, and it has a uh, Burger King. Yeah. But I have to drive <laughs> everywhere. If I want to go anywhere, I have to drive. Yeah, so do we. we got to drive. So I had, when I, I put this on before, and I put it, I put the paint on pretty thick. And yeah. so we create a little bit of texture underneath. So it'll oh, come gorgeous. I love it. Come through in the painting. Need to wet this a little bit. That's a, like a, a little bit of a trick. If you want a little bit of a finer line, I I wet the I wet the um, the paintbrush mm -hmm. so that the line is a little bit more streamlined and you can get a finer edge. And you're using acrylics. Are you still using acrylics? For I am. Piece? I'm using acrylics. Oh my God! Okay. It's 84 degrees by you, Karen. I'm jealous. Oh my God! Me too. I want to golf. <laughs> South Texas is cold. Jeez. I was in Texas two years ago. We were in San Antonio. Uh, the first day we were there, it was warm, and then um, after that, it dropped to 60 degrees. And I was pretty upset because <laughs> I went there to get warm, not mm -hmm. be cold. It was warmer in New Jersey. So, anyway, we're in Texas. Hey, Dan. Are you seeing more? Oh, okay. I was up stuck at the top. My, my cousin is on here. Oh, okay, cool. Watching. He's going to watch for a minute. Okay. Tell your mom, Aiden. <laughs> she's on here. She's on, she's on the Instagrams. 
Instagram things. The Instagrams. So I'm just. So, yeah. Uh, I'm, Oh, what, do you, what, do you know, what are you doing? You're doing, uh, you're making I'm a trying to beach background. I'm trying to, yes, do a beachy background. And then I'll put my flamingos on. But I thought I had to get this on first. Okay. I'm trying to do like sand into water. And then I'll have a sun, sunset. But just trying uh -huh. to get some base down here. That sounds good. I'm going to, I'm working with acrylic. So when, once I put it, he got a few minutes to work with it. And it starts to dry. And okay. then I gotta let it set up a little longer because um, if you start painting over acrylics that are drying, it'll pick up, and it'll pick the paint right off off right off the canvas. Oh, okay. So once it's dry, you can paint over it. But once it, right. it's still tacky, you gotta wait a little bit. Yes, and I'm using chalk paint, and I'm using um, I'm using chalk paint and. Clay paint, DIY clay paint, and I'm yeah. using um, Dixie Bell, some colors that are the chalk paint. So, uh, how do you like the Dixie Bell? I've never used that. I like them. They're similar. They're similar. They have they have a lot of really nice colors, mm. and um, they're real similar to the ones you know, like the clay paint. Okay. So oh, so they're si they're similar to like to, to to DIY or they are similar, yes, and they'll blend like that. Um, you can use the wax on them and stuff like that. So, by the way, I'm not doing my flamingo. Oh, all right. It went back. Okay. Looks like the phone hibernated. I don't know what happened. What? Is... So does the that mean it stopped? It, like it, the the phone went to a black screen. It hibernated. And oh wow! I couldn't. I couldn't see you. I couldn't see anybody anymore. Well, it's it's a learning experience for us because this is my first time painting on um on. On Canvas? Yeah, well, no, on, on Instagram. Oh, on Instagram. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's my first time, too. I've done a few things. I painted on Facebook. Um, yes. But I've never done it on um, on the Instagram. The Instagram. I sound like a boomer. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> my son my calls, me, he calls me a boomer. <laughs> What's a boomer? No, I'm not a boomer. I'm not, you know. What's a boomer? <laughs> like a baby. I don't know. It's Says Aiden. the girl in Beaver Falls, PA. <laughs> What's but, a boomer? <laughs> I don't If Aiden's still here, maybe he can explain boomer. Okay. He knows more. He's, he's, he's young. My kids crack up at me. I don't know what the correct way to say is. Uber, Uber? Well, okay, are you guys uh, getting Uber. an Uber? Is it Uber? It's an Uber, yeah. Uber, because I'll say, are you guys going to Uber? And they'll be like, Mom, Uber. it's an Uber. I'm like, okay. Yeah, they call you a boomer, too. Yeah. Okay. You say Uber. <laughs> they we'll will. figure that. Yeah. <laughs> My son, he's, he, call, he calls me that. <laughs> That's he's funny. fresh sometimes. I'm giving this girl curly hair. Okay. <laughs> kind of mixing it up a bit. Seeing what happens. That the problem is usually like I'm, I'm I'll paint and then I like obsess over it for days. And right now I'm kind of <laughs> just going off the cuff. I know I don't really have a plan. I had several ideas in my head. And I'm like, like you, I'm just going to like take it as it goes. And 
Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I mean, I'm sure after we go off here, I'll, I'll continue. And right, I will too. Continue and touch up and add, and then we'll, we can post our finished product and people can see. Yeah. And um, it's it's real simple on Facebook and on Insta on Instagram. They just have photos for um, flamingos for amber, but on Facebook you can actually get more of their 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 writing stories and stuff that they've written about it and and learn more and get it just click on them and like them and then hopefully when the auction mm -hmm. comes up if anybody's interested and uh or if anybody's interested in doing any um canvases canvas painting with us with one of us or both of us in the future let us know yeah for sure because we I'm have time between now and may i'm gonna have to get i gotta get karen on with me I'm going to strong arm her into doing it. <laughs> um, well, she's in Florida. I can't really strong arm her, but. Uh, um, uh, Denise is using DIY, looks like, and I'm using, um, I'm using acrylic Liquitex paint. And also, I'm using, I'm just using acrylic paint. I mean, I use, sometimes I use Blick. Sometimes that's just a, a store brand. Um, sometimes I use, um, oh, what's that brand that I can't think of the name of it. Oh, here we, uh, Windsor and Newton acrylic paint. Sometimes just whatever, whatever's available. I'm going to leave her alone for a minute and start working on another part. Let's see. Let me grab a different brush. You what brush are, what you're using a big brush or a small brush? For, for this I'm using a Klingon brush just to get more paint on for the background. Oh. But then I have a whole bunch of little brushes that I'll be using um okay for for my flamingos. For the flamingos. I love flamingos too. <laughs> <laughs> flamingos are cool. I never yes. thought of painting one before until now, since we talked about it, and I said, oh. Well, I painted them on furniture. I just have not painted on a canvas a flamingo. So this is my first for, for the flamingo on a canvas. Mm. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to dab a little bit of gold. Yeah, I'm going to, got to get some gold on here somewhere, girl. <laughs> yeah, you got to. It, it really makes a, a difference. And it's all about, you know, just keep, if you don't like it, keep layering. That's another thing. You don't right. like something, just keep painting until you like it. Right. Just keep going. We'll see what happens. Use your intuition. Right, because you start seeing it tell a story. It starts taking a, taking on a, on a, story and a vision and oh Karen you're in good she's in she said she's gonna do one with me all right okay wonderful if you don't like you got you gotta check out some of her stuff too she's uh, vintage vibes good finds okay. is that it yeah vintage vibes good finds yeah, you okay. check her out. She's got a lot of cool stuff, and I think and her husband has uh, some stuff. He's got he's got old vintage albums, I believe. I don't know what else he's got, but he's got some cool stuff. Okay. Cool. See some people joining in. Bob Tracy, Bob Tracy, team leader. He was our my team leader at the where I work. Oh, okay. Well, cool. 
Uh, I haven't looked to see the names yet. I'm just Design, keep design you know, 5409. on here. Some fun I, I didn't know. I didn't know some, some of these people were on Instagram. I didn't even realize it. You never know who's in. Who's on here. Yes, for those who came in late, we're doing canvases for, um, we're going to do some flamingos for Amber Foundation. It's a nonprofit, and um, Amber non died. Yeah, and, and the, 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 what exactly, I, did you say before, what, what, um, what was she ill with? What did she? It's a name I can't pronounce. <laughs> they okay. have a short term for it, but it's like a long medical name. And it was a rare thing, and I think she went through some cancer treatments and different things. Oh, but, um, she okay. fought a hard fought fight, and the parents said that she was very giving and very kind over to every people, other people in um, in the sick community, the people who were having problems and issues. And at, at her funeral, people waited for three hours. There was people from six countries there oh, because wow. there was a lot of people at her hospital from other countries that – that she got to know and they got to know her spirit. And um, she sounds like she was a very giving girl. And um, now the parents are trying to give back to other people in this same type of situation that, yeah. you know, you, when somebody gets sick in your family, you just don't always have the money for hotel rooms or if you have to go to, they went to so many hospitals with her, they were yeah. saying, so. Yeah, that's kind of like, um, well, not but similar, like St. Jude's, you know, the, the, the kids can go <laughs> yes. and get treatment and they take care of the families. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool. So let's see. This is drying up a bit. I can move on. I think I should use a final brush. <coughs> I don't know how this is going to turn out. Well, yours is looking good. The backgrounds look good. Yeah. I can't see the light is play lighting is playing on me, so it's kind mm -hmm. of hard to see. But <laughs> and some's wet, some's dry. <laughs> oh yeah, Karen's husband, Mr. McDowell. He's from Hooversville. Do you know where that is? No, is it in PA? Yeah, it's an hour east of Pittsburgh, and he oh. knows Beaver Falls. Oh. oh, he does. Oh, cool. Yeah, he knows. All right. Little town USA. <laughs> Little town USA. <laughs> I only moved here years ago to have kids. It's a great place to raise children and um, some good, good school districts, very rural. Um, my kids played all kinds of sports. I had two boys, and they're now grown up. <laughs> wow. Grown up parents now, so. That's what happens. Yes. You grow up. Giving me grandchildren. <laughs> Giving me gray hairs. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I'm getting some of those. I got quite a few. Not, you know, <coughs> okay, so not a ton, but I, I do have. Let me drink some water here. Let that dry a minute. Let me see yours. Oh, yours looks pretty. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm not sure what I want to do here, where I want to go. Um, you got to leave room for a flamingo. <laughs> I got it. I think I'm going to get a flamingo in here somewhere. Okay. Definitely going to do that. I mean, I'm going to go for some other colors. Okay. I don't want to put, I want to leave my, the pink for the flamingo. So I don't want to do too much pink anywhere else. Oh, did it, it went out again? Did it? Yeah, I don't know. Why? It's, it's showing out. live on mine. It was shot. Well, then maybe it was. It was still going. I don't know. Oh, he's in between Johnstown and Somerset. Okay. Joe Namath from El Equipa. Yes, he is. 
Joe yeah. Namath. Yeah, and a lot of his family's from around this area too. Um, I live near Geneva College. Um, I'm not far from there. Christian College around here. But um, yeah, the Chinese they have a, yeah. So now, is this your, what's your full-time gig? Is this your full-time gig, what you're doing, or you paint? No, or? no, no. Okay. No, I have a full-time job, and um, I, um, I do closed captioning for the hearing impaired. So uh -huh. I do broadcast closed captioning from home. We do, like, CNBC. MSNBC, CNN, live news shows, and um, but I work from home for that, and so it's like a very stressful job, but I have pockets in between, like two hours, four hours, so that's where I try to do some painting and stuff, because I get bored if I'm home, mm -hmm. and then you can't really leave your house, so I'm kind of homebound a lot, oh, <laughs> so, okay. between the both of them, but it does fill in the gaps, and it's just fun, it takes me away from that stressful, trying to keep up with everybody's words, <laughs> you yeah. know? Um, yeah, I could imagine. I, I don't think I, I could do something like that. Um, we have, I, I work for the court. It's got to be something similar because I work for the court and they, you know, the translators are, are just, boy, I don't think I could do what they do. That You work for the courts? I do. I work for the Superior Court of New Jersey. Okay. I work for a judge in the family division, and it's a, it's a, it, it, can, it can be very stressful. Yeah, I know. I used to work in the courts as a court reporter. Oh, so there, it's so the same. Know. It's the same skills that I do for mm -hmm. captioning. So basically, it's on a steno machine. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then of course, of course, we used to have to write every single word verbatim, but for broadcasting, because you can't slow down the speaker, you can't, as a court reporter, you kind of control the courtroom, you have, you are the maker of the record, so you're responsible for it, so yeah. you have, you can say slow down, repeat that, can you spell that, you can't do that mm -hmm. to the TV, we get an audio feed, or we get a visual audio um, feed, and um, a video feed, and so we're just writing what we hear and get as much in as we can. And our software sometimes, it's weird because it translates from steno data to English. Oh, and it's, okay. it's phonetic. So sometimes our mistakes aren't really ours. It's software mistakes, but it looks funny. Because um, it's just, it's, it's a phonetic translation that we do in, okay. you know, of a software. That's so. got to be really uh, difficult. To do. Well, I mean, you get used to it, you know, I mean, I think when you first start out, but I think then as you keep going along in your, in your career, it gets um, easier. So Vintage yeah. Vibe Good Finds, you paint to take your mind off the nine to five. Yes. Oh. Good therapy. Yeah, hey, I Flower know. Pop Shop is on here. Flower Pop Shop, that is my grandson Leo's mom. She's on here and she said they would be watching. So... I'm glad you found us. Um, tell Leo and Marshmallow and Jaggers that, that Glam Onini says hello. And I hope he's watching in his PJs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting my flamingos. And um, so they're on here. They just gave me a little wave. So oh, hi, Leo. Nice. Wave. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can wave at PJs. Yes. Yes. I just waved Cobweb Studio Design. Thanks for joining us. I gotta tell you right now, this might this might change. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am not liking this right now. Uh, not liking how her face is coming out. Not feeling it. I think I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna work on the flamingo. Okay. Yeah, we need to get a flam. Oh, oh, I'm touching that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I did something too. There we go. This is all new. We're all trying to figure it out together. So much technology. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let me see. Let me let me try. 
Let me try a uh, flamingo. I'm going to do my best to get this. Let me do it, maybe a small one back here. Backward question mark thing. Let's see. Get the, the start of one. Right. Let's see. We should probably stand back a little bit. Maybe I'll do a couple of flamingos. Right, it just... Thanks, Karen. Hi, Sally. I think I need to look at a picture of a flamingo too. That would help. <laughs> would help me a bit. It's I'm hard just going to keep going. Oh, what's it's that? Sorry. No, it's hard when we're on here. You can't get onto your Pinterest. And um, <laughs> my computer's acting up. My iPad's acting up. So. It doesn't look good now. I'll get it to look good. Well, it takes a little bit of layering, you know? Yeah, for sure. I don't know. So yeah, for those who just tuned on, we're doing this for Flamingos for Amber. It's a nonprofit, and they're based out of Owensburg, Owensboro, Kentucky. And Amber, at the age of 10, was diagnosed with a rare disease, and she lived to the age of 24. So um, she loved flamingos, and so her parents have a nonprofit foundation, and um, you can find them on um, Facebook.com, Flamingos for Amber, and actually read, read up some more on their cause and, and um, you find out more about Amber. Yeah, I'm going to go on there later and take a, and take a, take a look. I told you I'm not liking this, uh, not liking this face I did. So we're doing, it's just paint. It's just All right. You go over it until you love it. <laughs> Start over. Start over from scratch. I used to get all upset. But then I'm like, why am I getting upset? I'll just paint over it. Right. <laughs> no I reason to. I've taken old canvases and um, and just painted over them completely. Like just put a fresh coat of like solid whatever yellow or you know, and then paint it over. And let me tell you, then those like, they come out real. They can come out really good. Just and then it has a, a the paint underneath c can create a lot of texture. Right, and that's what I'm doing. I put a few different colors on here. 
as I said, I have DIY, I have a petticoat pink, I have Dixie Bell's Tea Rose, I have Dixie Bell's Peony, and I have DIY um, Vintage Linen. For some of the blues and greens, I use the DIY Water Lily, Sea Glass, Mint Chip, Blue Irish, and I've also put on some of Dixie Bell's Flamingo. When you do the Flamingo and the Peony together, they make some really pretty colors. So they actually have the color called Flamingo. Yes, that's this more orangish color. But when you put the peony, I'm putting right now, and I put a little bit of this Flamingo, they just marry together so well. And then if you think it's too dark in an area, just take some of the white and soften it. Yours looks really good. You like it? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Me, I'm kind of stuck. You'll get unstuck. Just. It's all about having fun, girlfriend. <laughs> yep. I'm going to keep moving forward. Yes. Moving forward. I'll keep going. Who said that? Walt Disney, right? Keep moving I don't forward. think so. I think that's his quote, or part of a quote from him. Mm -hmm. I've actually just been using the same brush, just dip it in a few different colors, just promoting the blends here and. Looks good. It looks good from where I'm standing. Does it look like a flamingo? I still have to do the beak. Um, it does. It does. Mine looks like a pink blob. <laughs> <laughs> or pink Keep blobs. Working with it. Keep working with it till you love it. <laughs> I think I want to grab some some darker pink and get in there. Now, let's see. I think my Leo's probably watching Grandma Nini. <laughs> He's the cutest little boy. Aw. With his little doggy. What kind of dog does he have? I forget what it's called. He's the cutest little thing. And um, he's a, a black furry thing. And he's the quietest little dog. Oh, my God. He's so quiet. Oh, really? Yes. I do not really? have quiet dogs. My <laughs> dogs are loud and obnoxious. Mine's here. And she will probably come bother me at some point. I was on the other night live on Facebook. And my dog came in and wanted to take over. Sometimes they just want your attention. Yeah. He really wanted to take over. Well, oh, I hope they, I hope someone's going to want our prints. <laughs> I hope someone's going to want them. <laughs> I always find there's somebody who will love it. Yes. Everything. Even if I've had part where I've said, well, I don't really like it. But someone will say, oh, it's, I love it. I'm like, Great. Yes. <laughs> Get some more pink in there. I'm going like back and forth from like this real like dark pink to light, the light. I don't know if this is flamingo like, but. Oh, yes, version. I like it. I love <laughs> it. This is my version of it. I like it. Thank it's you. Sassy. She's sassy. It's a sassy flamingo. <laughs> uh huh. I 
I didn't do her legs yet. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess I, I should do a couple more. Maybe a couple more over here. I'm wondering what color the legs should be. Should they be like an orangey sort of? Yeah, they seem like orangey with a little bit of white, and they have like knobby knees, they're long leg knees. Oh, it looks pretty on there. <laughs> Mine, I'm saying. And yours yeah. looks good. Oh, I like it. You got a couple back there. Cool. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to change my girl up. We're going to okay. see what happens with her. I had a vision in my head, and then it kind of fizzled out. Started out good with the background. Oh, your background's gorgeous. I love it. Let me see if I've got, I think I have orange, but I think what I'll do is I'll darken it. Find orange. Where did it go? I think it might be over here. Hang on. Some orange, some vivid orange. I don't know if I need it vivid. Yeah, probably not vivid, but. Uh -huh. Let's see. I want a smaller angled brush. I have one, I just don't know where it is. We have it somewhere else. Or maybe I'm just going to use this filbert round edge. I don't know. Let's see what happens. So I hope some of the Amber's parents, I hope they're watching tonight. Um, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I know my Leo's watching. Hi, Leo. Because <laughs> <laughs> I see Flower Bop Shop on here. Mommy and Daddy's on with your doggy and you and... <laughs> Kelly Waller's on from Up Girl Upcycled. Hi, girl. She wrote, hey, Hi, hey. how are you? <laughs> Just saying hello. <laughs> Hi, we're Kelly. Painting, we're painting flamingos, Kelly. Yeah, and, and not very well. <laughs> oh, you're doing excellent. Like, Yours looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm not doing very well. Yes, I'm going to see. I'm sure that it's going to... I need a, a, an angled brush. I'm having a hard time. Kelly Weiler, I'm using, using DIY and some um, of their paints. And I'm using Petticoat Pink right now. Um, I was using the Water Lily, the Mint Chip, Sea Glass, Vintage Linen for the background. So those are a lot of DIYs on there. I have some of the Dixie Bells here too. So we're just mixing up a bunch of things. I'm going. not using that at all. I, oh, you're, yeah, she's I'm using the acrylics. Um, I do, I do like to use it as the, the DIY paint uh, for blending in the background. It really, it really works well and it, and you wet it and reactivate it and, Really works so good with blending a background, but I didn't have time for that. I had to go right in with the acry heavy acrylics right. to make that background pop out. I really need to look at a picture of a flamingo. I feel like I'm not getting the leg right. The vibe? <laughs> oh, they look cute. I like them. Very nice. Looks like a four. <laughs> I gotta see their feet too. I don't know what a flamingo's feet looks like. You just can't picture it. I think they're kind of like duckish. Night, Kelly. Is she Leah? Yeah, she. Uh... 
Bye, She's Kelly. Signed off. Bye, Kelly. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Yes. Me. Thanks for checking in on us. <laughs> what kind of feet do a, does a flamingo have? Does it have like webbed feet or? I think they're kind of like duck web feet, like three, like three web, you know what I'm saying? A, a three pronged web like this. A three pronged web. All so right. it goes out like that. Oh, okay. web. And yeah, I think that's how it is. All right, let's see. I think I'm just gonna smear for their feet right now. See how that works. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. You think the flamingos look good? Thank you. I love the colors. <laughs> the pinks. Making this, these flamingo legs look like a four. <laughs> like a four? Oh, yeah, kind of. Like I, don't mean, I was wondering what you meant by a four, yes. Because they're you usually... You look at it, I see the number four. Yeah, they stand on one, you're right, and then the other ones are usually bent sometimes, yes. I bent mine. Both of them are bent. Boom! Yeah. Boom, in the front row. Sassy right. flamingos. They want to keep their sassy. Hands. She's sassy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Miss Flamingo. All right, let's see. Let me let me see where I can go now. now. I didn't do the legs yet. I was just trying to get the bodies as close to where it's close. I got to put the beaks on yet, too. They kind of have a beak. <laughs> we've been, believe it or not, I think we've been on here almost an hour. Like, oh, have we? Yeah, it's, eight, it's almost 8.28, right? We came on at 7.30. Well, maybe oh, a little wow. bit after. Because we were trying to figure that whole thing the out. The connections, yeah. If it, I'm thinking everybody's kind of glazing over right now. Well, if they have to go, they can go. But I mean, it's up to you. However, you want to stay, we can always finish these on our own, and we'll post um, our pictures as we get done with them. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'll stay for a few more minutes, and then. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to have to go eat dinner because I haven't, I came home and I started to do the background. I changed and I didn't eat anything. So I'm kind of hungry. Okay. But I will stay for a few more minutes. And I stand back for a minute and look at this thing and see where else I can go with it. Right. <laughs> I'm definitely going to wait for it to dry and I'm going to layer m more. more yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm telling um, In my group, if anybody wants to, I'm on, it's called Creative Inspirations and it's on Facebook. And it's a, um, it's a group over there. And uh, so if anybody wants to go there, I think I'll just go on there whenever you like going off. But I love your flamingos. They look great. Oh, thank you. I am um, like it. Yeah, I'm going to layer some more, obviously. I'm going to let this set up and dry and uh, let it create a little bit more texture. Sometimes I have, um, I use uh, a gel medium that you can mix with your paint and it'll um, give it more texture on the canvas and you can buy like matte gla uh, glaze or you can buy i'm sorry matte medium or you can buy like a glossy medium and the gloss obviously will give it a shine make it more make the canvas more texture you can also use all sorts of stuff for te texturing a canvas uh i use sometimes i just let the paint go on a little thicker you can let it dry out a little bit and it makes it mm -hmm. thick or um you could use a mixture of, um, I did actually did it the other day. I used uh, Mod Podge, gesso, and talcum powder. I mixed it up, and you can just put it on, on stuff. You can use a stencil, 
I did this other thing. I uh, I used a stencil with it, and it made the um, the stencil raised after it got after it dried. It got real hard, and you can sand it. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. Okay, and it gives uh, <clears throat> more texture to the uh, piece that you're working on. It's like picking this up. I always do that. I'm like doing one thing and then I'm like, I'll walk away. Like I'll, I'll start doing something else. I'll go downstairs to start laundry and all of a sudden I got a paintbrush in my hand. I'm painting a chair. <laughs> yeah. So I just did it now. That happens. I started, I was doing this and then I picked up this piece cause I wanted to show it, um, where I used the, the texture medium and I used a stencil a sun stencil over it and um and it's real hard you can sand it dried using that uh that media it's really mm -hmm. it's it's really cool stuff and it's so easy everybody has talcum powder in the house and i always have i have my always have mod podge and mm -hmm. i have gesso to put over my canvases so i had everything in the house and you just mix it together and kind of make a uh, a liquid, not a th real thick paste, but like uh, you want something that's kind of like a little, like almost like half and half. Mm -hmm. A little bit thick. And then you just kind of smear it on your canvas or whatever you're working on, a piece of wood, uh, a paint, whatever. And it just, it really, it really works great. I, uh, I used it on, um, Last night I was I was using it on um I have a necklace form that I was redoing and I covered it completely with that media and um I see those necklaces it. you've been doing. I like your necklaces. Oh thank you. Very pretty. Thank you. I'm trying to think of where else I should go right now with this. Really want to look at a flamingo. <laughs> I feel I have a, this overwhelming feeling to look at a flamingo. I've been so looking at one for the past couple nights just trying to get ideas and I just couldn't get a, an idea so that's why I'm just just going with random random whatever they're called flamingos. Random's cool. That's what I you know I just said, oh, I never drew a flamingo, but I'm going to try. I mean, well, just like I said before, I'll just keep painting it until I like it. And right. then when are they, you said they're not, they're not going to be, uh, they're not going to be auctioning these off until, um, until, until when? May. Until later on, right? Oh, until yeah, May. They, they haven't decided a date yet. Um, but it's sometime in May. So, okay. yeah, it'll help them to have some things lined up. and um, So I have some time to work on this, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. If you don't have to send it in tomorrow morning. There's, there's no contest deadline, you know. It's not a contest. It's... Yeah, now I'm going to uh, work on it for a little while before I send it in. When I get to the point where, you're not, where I tell myself to walk away from it. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I'll walk away. Yeah. I have to do the beaks, but I, I'm using like the pink, so I'm trying to do the beaks and the legs later because I'll use a lot more, a little bit of yellow and white on the beaks, and then um, actually a little bit black on it too. And uh, I can do the eyes and do the legs. But I have a thing, I think I think I'm going to do one little one over here too. So is Leo still on? Is my flower bop shop people on here? Let me know if you're still up, Leo. Oh. What is going on? I will send you that, Karen. Um, Gesso. Uh, Gesso is, you, it, it, it actually is like a, let me have it right here. I have a transparent gesso. Um, you can put it on surfaces like can 
canvas and um, surfaces that don't have like if you have a smooth piece of board or something anyway, it gives the it textures the uh, canvas is really what it does but it, it, it almost has it's a, it's a surface preparation uh, okay. liquid and it's act and it and it it's like it's almost like paint you, uh, it, it pours out like paint I mean and um, like sometimes when I have a canvas that I've painted on already, I'll, I'll put gesso over it so that it, the, it gives the uh, paint something more to grab onto. It, especially if it's a slick surface. <clears throat> so let's see, all right. I think I'm going to let this, the rest of it set up and I'm going to work on it a little bit more later on. Okay. And uh, it's 8.35. Okay. So we've definitely been on here for over an hour. We got to do this again. It was fun. I know. I know. We'll work our schedule in and uh, do it again. Yeah, we'll um, definitely do it again. And then we'll post whenever you get them pretty much done or even a yes. progress pick or something mm -hmm. and um, I'm gonna probably go over on my page live and say in case anyone still wants to watch and okay and then I'll post this uh, will you send this one to me or how does that work or do I have to I will I'm gonna when I stop this I'll see um, how this works okay hopefully um, it'll allow me to save it if not I I I apologize, but I hope hopefully it will allow me to save it. And um, yeah, there's I'll, usually like on Facebook. I would think like, like on Facebook they have something like. Yeah, yeah it says you can forward. save it when you're on Facebook Live. You can save the video. Okay. Um, hopefully, I can do that with this when I end the video. Yes, and then I'll save it and I'll um, I'll send it over to you. I'll um, I guess I'll email it or or I'll up or maybe I it might be too long. I might have to up upload it somehow yeah upload it and then i probably have to like send it to my group um again the group is called creative inspirations on facebook and it's denise o'hare creative inspirations if you anybody feels like they want to go over there i'll All go right. there in a few minutes it was nice talking to you and painting with All you right. tonight yep nice painting with you too thanks everybody for joining us and, um, and I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you later elisa okay i'll talk to you later take care okay Bye, hon. All right, bye. Bye. I'm not sure how to turn this off. The X probably, huh? Oh, I'll turn it off. Hang on. Okay, thanks. And now.